Okay, now let's see what um, what happens if we want to uh, count how many elements are there into into um, into a list like this one. Okay, uh, let's suppose we get this list and we want to um, assure uh, how many uh, how many numbers, two numbers, one numbers, etc. are there in the in the list? So we get this list here, and we can import from a collection collections module. We can import uh, this class here called counter that does the work for us, and so we can. Uh, uh, take the results of uh, of this uh, class when uh, um, when we pass the our list a and so we we'll get in B our results so if we check B we are watching what that there are three number one there are three number two as you can see and two three in 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 this and let's look how we could have the same dictionary here uh, um, in another way without using uh, our collections module and our class counter um, we can uh, we could use this dictionary here uh, we call it K F for V for each element in an R and each element would be V um, if V in K uh, so if there is this element yet um, what happens uh, we want that um, this element uh, will be incremented of one instead so if there is no uh, it's the first time that we uh, encounter this element in the in the list then in our dictionary we will create um, the the key with uh, with that element that could be one two or three and give it the value of one because it's the first time we check it um, so let this uh, loop run um, and now uh, we should have our k dictionary and here it is and it gives us uh, that we got the number one three times in the list uh, sorry in this list and yeah, exactly like in uh, what counter does we got two times of three times number two and two times number three so we made exactly the same thing and then I wanted to make uh, another example here uh, where this um, this string that came from uh, Shakespeare Romeo and Juliet So here it is. Um, I copied and paste this uh, this string into uh, this variable ray, and yeah, that is for Romeo and Juliet. And then I I made um, this um, this function here that takes the string and replaces um, the comma and the point and uh, and the column character and takes them away then split all this all this string and then uh, does the same that we have done before so takes each of the element and if each time that um, it encounters this element um, again it um, upgrades uh, the number of uh, of the unit of one uh, and so we can define this word word count where we pass our list 
of words and initially it is a string so we are going to uh, replace uh, the comma with nothing and replace uh, the dot with nothing and replace the comma the column with nothing and then we are going to split um, uh, so that split the string so that we have uh, all the elements um, of the words like elements of the list uh, now we are going to iterate through the this list of words so for each element of a and we call each element v oh, sorry for v in a okay um, and there is an indentation okay I got to restart the function sorry and okay we replace all our stuff and then for v in a um, we are going to do the same thing we did before for k if k v if um, if v in k sorry if v in k what we are going to do we are going to add um, plus equal one add the number increase the number of in that key and else if it's new we are just going to uh, create uh, the, the key with the initial value of 1 and then we will also um, we will also return uh, the key the our dictionary so if I make v equal word count uh, ray our Romeo and, Ju and Juliet string um, we will memorize into V all the words in Romeo and Juliet right and you see that there is six times the, the word there why all these other words are just are just one of them from we got two two of these and to shell one miss one toy one strive one you it's all two times parents and and so that's that's all we can we can it's all for now